Hello friends, it's me, Tree. I am having a decidedly bad brain day, so I'm staying off the camera today. Once again, we are still on my phone because I have yet to charge my batteries. It, this is going to be a theme for Vlogmas, I'm certain. So I'm going to do a sketchbook tour. Uh, I, I finished a couple of them during Inktober, and yeah. So this is the one I'm doing today. It's some type of moleskin, but I don't remember what kind it is. It was a gift. Uh, as you can see, it has been decorated by, by me. Um, those are from an art, a fr French artist, I want to say, named Moon. And that's from Lee Ellickson. And that's a solar ram from Survey Jungle. So... And because I am this person, yes. Oh, uh, the, 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 as my brain just did not spit that out. They're not alchemical, Kabbalistic uh, seals. One of them is Seal of Solomon, I think. I don't remember what they are off the top of my head. And the other side, um, which for those of you who don't know, I do NaNoWriMo every year. Um, this year was my 10th or 11th year that don't trust the, the website. The website was filled with gremlins this year. And one of my, my nothing drawings on the back. I know most people are sensible and ladies flat when they do this. I am not sensible. I am a rebel, so I'm going to do this. But first I want to mention, I have these cute little Caleb and Caduceus stickers that were given to me. My, my friends, Chris and Phoenix, um, I will link their shop in the description because I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. It, it has to do with rabbits. But they're so cute. Look at them. And I think it's Chris Cosplays as uh, Caduceus, which is super cute. And these are just some of my little friends. Sketches for things. Skulls and flowers and mushrooms and mushrooms, I wasn't lying. Most of these are done with either Le Pen or with um, ballpoint pen. That is Armitage in all of their, their antlery glory. That's something from the D&D campaign I'm in right now. Best Baby Vulture, which uh, is a vulture vulture named Sev that is being raised by somebody named Foxfeather over on Twitter, and they are adorable and precious, and I love them. More skulls. Part of the reason why skulls are so fascinating to me, um, aside from just everybody has skulls, unless you're something like a tardigrade. Okay, everything like, yeah, I'm going to just stop that thought, uh, but in my Glittering Venery universe, there's an entire thing called red caps who are people who have been trapped in their skulls and so anytime you see a skull and it has like eyes that are looking at you it's a red cap but look at that hummingbird i'm so proud of that hummingbird and best baby vulture a little plague doctor here to diagnose you with dead that's ent my circle spores artificer druid that was not in the right order. My Circle Spores Druid Artificer, ha, from my D&D campaign. That are a big mushroom. More of my little eldritch kitties. A very sad something, very sad eldritch something, and an abandoned drawing. Probably the first iteration of the faceless nothing from the working. In an abstract sense, it gets more faceless and more nothing as we as we go. A frilly mushroom person. It's very Brandy Milnay inspired, like really inspired. Uh, also in my Glittering Venery universe I have uh, red caps that have been re-embodied, like released. Well, they're still in their skulls but they've been released so that they can have bodies again and they're called ghasts. And this is one of my ghasts. 
Tova being lovely and beautiful and spinning because she is high femme, the highest femme. Skulls, flowers, mushrooms. I, I had just gotten um, one of those like eight lead pencil things, like the, the clicky pens, and was trying it out to see how I liked it and seeing the colors and stuff, and that's what happened. A creepy deer, because creepy deer happened in my, my sketchbook on the regular. Frank from uh, Donnie Darko, he was in one of my universes and was a puka. And, and a, a little weird bear thing that I have no explanation for that. There was a reason at the time, I don't know what it was. And now we're getting more into the, the Inktober stuff. This is Ellery Ciseau like initial sketch and how they progressed. <laughs> initial crummy sketch of Balan. It's a very it's a very difficult pose. And I never felt like I really like caught the pose I was going for, which is fine. Um, but yes, this is Falon Hester, he they. Crane Priory, he him. Uh, Crane is actually inspired by uh, an artist and cosplayer I follow on Instagram, Instagram, Instagram named Felix, Ima Viadat, uh, she, her, and Ima is actually based on another uh, Instagram person I follow named Essie. A weird page of, you know, did a thing and then tried to tried to do a thing and went eat and did another thing and went eh at it. And then that became that, which is Jibril Samthara. And these are all characters from my Nana this year called The Working. One of the, the creatures from The Working, uh, Sid Vaughn. Ilya Sarkis. I, I find it really helpful when I'm writing to, especially Nano, um, where time is of the essence if I have character character sketches refer back to when I'm writing it means that I've already more or less got people pinned down and then I can just deal with that. Hilo Tomio, Eugene Curie, who's inspired by Elliot Waugh uh, from The Magicians. Topher Perry, who is inspired by Shinin Kor, who's one of my favorite artists currently. Priya Iyer, who's uh, inspired by my, my my actual friend Joseba. Anther Frey, who has no real world cognate as as far as I know, but the design of her uh, was inspired by the artist Loesch. Ellie Yates, who is inspired by Babstar. Ithne and Kiernan, who are a pair of um, twins who show up in like all of my novels at some point. They're from the Penumbral Host, so they're Fae. They've gone through a lot of iterations. This is my favorite thus far. A questionably good drawing of, um, of Aya Kaore McKay, who is one of my longtime characters in one of my other novels. Uh, JL Delilah Scar Scarlet, who is, sh she is a werewolf hunter. Go figure. Hood, red, hot. Scribbles of Enum Hollow, who is another longtime character of mine. Uh, Aya, Jail, and Enum all appear in a couple of the same novels together. I'm having a space who this one was. Um, I'm gonna have to look. I just don't remember off the top of my head. When I have this many characters, sometimes you just don't remember. But I'm sure they're from a, Oh, I know who they are. They're L. Um, it, I've just recently... Their hair has recently changed. That's why I'm having a confusion. Yes, that's L. <laughs> On the left is uh, Imogen Pius. And on the right is um, Kai. Kai is uh, Tova's twin and Imogen is Killian's twin. I have a thing for twins. And on the left
stuff that is of Lux Halkion, who is Grey's twin, and on the right is Tova, who is Kai's twin. On the left is Grey, who is Lux's twin, and on the right is Killian, who is Imogen's twin. And the, these have all been done with like a combination of uh, Copic and uh, midliner and colored pencil and uh, gel pen and ballpoint pen. And st occasionally there's some charcoal in there. And on the left, that is, as I just totally lost their full name, uh, Adir. I had their first name, their, their given name is Adir. I have a lot of people in my head. Um, yeah, I can't remember Ader's surname. Um, and on the right is uh, Zoe Blake. And the, the last little drawing in this is, is Ioni. This, so that is this sketchbook tour. I have another one I'm going to do, and I have another sketchbook that I'm really close to having finished, so there might be another one in the future. Alright, so do good, be kind, be brave, go draw some stuff, you know, practice, practice is the thing you want to do, encourage. Pages, pages, pages.